you know, there are some people out there who are going, well, how do you feel now? You know, you, you trashed him the night he left, and you, you know, I decapitated one of his bobblehead dolls. Um, I regret, I don't regret that at all. I'd do it over again if I had to. That was that night. That was the that was a, a horrible night in Cleveland. We had no idea that LeBron James would be coming back four years. And let's be honest, folks, the last four years have been miserable if you were a basketball fan in this town. I can't erase the four years. Those were the four years. But tonight we are starting new. But but th for, for all of you out there, there should be no regrets at all as to how you were feeling the night that he... The night of the decision and the four years that followed. As as Dan Gilbert explained yesterday, there was a lot of pain involved there. We had to get through a lot of pain to get to tonight. Nobody likes pain. I, I don't know a person on the planet that likes pain. And there were no guarantees. There were no guarantees that through all this pain and the pain of the decision four years ago in a, in, in on, a, on the July night that we would even be having, having this day today. Had the Miami Heat won a championship this past June? This might not be happening. So a lot of things conspired together. There was a climate. There was, uh, you know, every, all the forces met at once. The conditions were right. And because of that, LeBron James did say yes. And because of that, tonight, down at the queue, a little around 8 o'clock, we are going to be all enjoying the return of LeBron James. But don't feel sad. Don't feel bad. 